I've never had anything. Tomorrow we make it 55 years I met Jesus. I've never had one day to think. No. I've never had a day of rethink. You'll be self-driven, self-motivated. If you know that whatever God says, he says to your advantage. Okay, what will God take advantage of me for? For what? Who am I? The breath in my nose, he gave it to me. The coins in my pocket, he gave it to me. Were you born with coins? The house you are living in that you built, he built it. Except the Lord builds, they labor in vain that builds. So what's your problem? <laughs> there is nothing about you that God is eyeing. That if not, this boy is my boy, where, where will I be now? You can you imagine God talking like that? Our disobedience is only plays a cost on our life, a cost. We pay for it. We pay for disobedience. And we are blessed for, this, for obedience. It's a choice to make. I lay before you life and death, blessing and cursing. And if you check what he said there in Deuteronomy 28 and verse 1 to 14, now, if you obey, these are the blessings. If you choose the other way, I mean, the other side, 15 to 66, is your package. So it is so interesting to just know that God is not looking for who to use, he's looking for who to bless. Our publishing mandate turned 41 years on the 14th of February. Now, hear what God said to me. When I found you as a faithful vendor, I made you an author. I was a vendor of against books on my shoulder in a curtain. Going from place to place, you need this book. This one blessed me so much. This one will bless you too. So when I found you as a faithful vendor, I made you an offer. Hi guys, this is Emeka Anslem and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. I just want to say thank you for always coming back and back again to my channel to watch my content. I really hope that they've been a medium of great blessings to you. Alright, let's get back to the video. Yes. Sir, this authorship is the cheapest in my life. There are languages where our books are published without our input. And yet they sent us royalty. We're all over China today. Malaysia. Uh, I saw a book one time and I said, except my name that could not be written in their language. <laughs> That's the only way I knew it was my name. Without stress. Be faithful, my friend. Yes, God is counting. Yes, God is counting. Oh, church will be halfway. Oh, yeah, yeah, That's okay. That's their problem. <laughs> Whose problem? <laughs> Amen. I went after souls at 19 and I encountered destiny in return. The light you brought to a village let it shine around the world. Is it not shining today? You can't tell what happens when you line up with God. Just get on God's side and what the wonders that take place. See, that type believers don't make any money. Invite people you don't invite. Bring people you don't bring. Amen. Okay, what exactly are you looking for? Walk with me and watch what I do with your life. That's what God said to Abraham. And we are a seed. So walking with God, walking in agreement with God is what secures the future. Somebody's life is breaking forth. Amen. No one convert will be stranded this year. Amen. Because you are there. I said because you are there. Amen. Maybe I may share this testimony today. One year my family sponsored the entire membership transportation. We just jumped into a new realm of fortune. 
one whole year. I won't tell you how many millions. We just jumped. <laughs> right in the midst of fortune, flood of fortune. Flood of fortune. So to get five people come to church, should that be a problem? For someone who entertains guests with uh, thousands of naira every day that don't say they need something, to send a little boy to school from your cell in public primary school, you can't see it. Fortune is not free. It's at a cost. Favor is entreated. It's not lavished. He said, even the rich among the people will entreat your favor. Will entreat your favor. God's blessings only trace believers' obedience. God's blessings don't answer to prayers. His blessings answer to obedience. If you obey what I tell you to do. Uh, Jesus never prayed over the wine. He just blessed the obedience and the water was turned to wine. He just blessed the obedience. That's how powerful obedience is. He just blessed the obedience and water became wine. No one's life here will lack joy. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That's what it takes to walk with God into realms of strength and from glory to glory. You shall not miss it. You shall not miss it. You shall testify. There shall be commotion of testimonies in the course of the week. They will check you up in that hospital and find out it's no longer there. The siege of death is over. That terminal disease is caused from the roots. In the name of Jesus. Your destiny opens up into a new phase. New chapters open up to you today. The favor of God gets you on the fly today. In Jesus' name. The affliction of the wicked is over. The national causes are broken. 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 I will beat down his foe before his face and plague all them that hate him. Verse 24. But my faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him, and in my name shall he keep on changing levels. So, by your rescue today, you are changing levels. You are changing levels. So, everything standing on your way to realizing God's agenda for your life shall be destroyed today. Number two scripture, Psalm 89, verse 20. The word says, I found David my servant, with my holy oil have I anointed him. With whom my arm, my hand shall be established, my arm also shall strengthen him. The enemy shall not exalt upon him, nor the sons of wickedness afflict him. No, I will not watch it. With my oil on his head, anybody who dares him is the enemy. Now, and I will beat down his foes before his face and plague them that hate him. But my faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him. And in my name, he will keep changing levels. Today's your day of liberty from the hand of the wicked. In the name of Jesus. With my holy oil have I anointed him. The sons of the wicked shall not afflict him anymore. And then that's come. And then that's come to every unwanted issue of your life as steered by the devil. And then that's come. Yeah. Second Corinthians 4 and verse 17. The word says, 
for our light affliction, which is both for a moment. We are not permitted to be afflicted beyond a moment. Beyond, it is illegal. If that thing is beyond a moment, a moment is a split of a second. For a moment, it has expired. So every siege against your life that's beyond a moment comes to an end today. <laughs> there shall be explosive marital breakthroughs this year. <laughs> explosive business and career breakthroughs this year. <laughs> the head of gospel shall be openly restored. <laughs> Secrets and decisions shall have no footing in your own household. <laughs> On time that is over. In the name of Jesus.